What's up, y'all? All right, so make sure this bitch is recording. Yeah, it's recording. All right, look. I saw I got another one for y'all, all right? You reap what you sow in relationships, all right? And this is what I mean by this, okay? Um, how you treat your partner, what you do with your, you know, to, to your mate, you know, these, these things can come back to bite you or to bless you, okay? It's going to be one of the two, all right? Now, you know, you know, I, I see a lot of things going on in different relationships, you know, and it, you got to watch yourself. You got to watch what you're doing because that shit comes back like a motherfucking boomerang. And it may be like Halley's Comet when it takes several years to come back or it could be real fucking fast. Like you shooting a bullet at a metal wall. Ping, ping. It's going to get you. you know what I'm saying like I got this one homeboy who you know um he was a wild boy in the past wild boy i mean cheating like a motherfucker and everything then all of a sudden he having his issues with his girl right he don't come to me tell me oh this and that and she's doing this and she's doing that tyrone and you know i called her on the phone with the dude and i said whoa whoa wait hold, hold the fuck on let's take a step back because admit don't don't you don't remember that you did this right Oh, you did that too. Remember that? Oh, and you fucked her mom. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 <clears throat> you done already sowed them seeds. And they blooming like a motherfucker right now, ain't they? See, you know, some of y'all think that once you turn the, turn over a new leaf and, and you know, all of a sudden you're doing right and you got God in your life, you think a lot of shit won't come back to bite you. All of a sudden you're a changed person. You know, what did I do to deserve this? Well, girl, if you think about all the married men you was fucking, and now the reason why you can't find a fucking good relationship, maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe you stopped fucking married men two years ago, and you think it's okay now, and now you got God in your life, and you're doing good, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be a great person. You think shit ain't gonna come back to bite you. You think the people that st that's hurt and everything don't still remember it. Karma's a bitch. And I don't know if karma is God. I don't know if it's some universal laws that's coming back to get you. But that shit will come back to get you. See, people, and this is what I think happens too. See, a lot of times you think that um, karma ain't going to get you. But you don't realize that karma will bite your ass uh, in a way you didn't expect it. So you cheat. But then all of a sudden, um, you could lose your house. Okay, so you got the same amount of pain that you may have called somebody else when their mate cheated with you. You got what I'm saying? Like, losing your house is a bitch, and getting cheated on is a bitch. So you you might be feeling just a, some people feel like they're losing their whole life when they lose their house, right? Some people feel like they're losing their whole life when their mate cheats. So to you, if one of your mates cheated, it might not be that bad. It might be like, ah, fuck it, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But losing your house, that could give you the same feeling that you gave somebody else. You got to think about shit like that. Hell, I've done shit in my past, you know what I'm saying? And I've had plenty of hurt. Now, I was never, ever, ever a grimy motherfucker. But I've done a couple of things that I'm, you know, that's questionable. In my own eyes, I'm like, you know, I did that. I shouldn't have did it, you know. And in my eyes at the time, it really wasn't as bad, but, you know... Yeah, you know, so and I believe that things have happened in my life that, you know, it's kind of like, damn, I wonder if that was kind of karma biting my ass for that. You know what I'm saying? So um, <laughs> that's what, <laughs> I've only done one thing in my life that I truly, truly, truly regret. And uh, I hope that I've already paid to that. And uh, from you know from now on, I'm and no, I ain't kill nobody. But um, <laughs> from now on, definitely, definitely, I'm, I'm really, you know, I've always been a person that didn't like to hurt people or do people wrong. So, you know, um, just make sure you're doing people right. Cause let me tell you something. Dude told me a story about how long it takes bamboo to grow. He said it takes around seven years for for bamboo to grow. Some of y'all growing bamboo trees, all right? You put the seeds in there, you motherfucking forgot, and then seven years later, you sprout up. Bow! All right? That's what the man told me. I don't know if it's true about bamboo, but that's what he said. So don't... The lesson today, y'all, 
is don't plant bamboo. Talk to y'all later.